I, I thought, um, thought you know, again, you got to give them a lot of credit for their experience and, and their size and how well they're coached. Um, we're, we're, as coaches, we're so proud of our guys. Um, thinking back to day one, our first practice, um, walking in here, you know, it's it's difficult. You know, I know, I know these two are are upset and it stings, but. Um, We've come a long way, and I'm, again, I'm, I'm so proud of them, what they've done in the classroom, what they've done on the court, and uh, I just I can't say enough about how far we've come. Um, if, you, if you'd have got to see us the first practice, um, to talk about being in a state championship, um, I know I wouldn't have believed it, um, just because I knew how hard we had to work and how hard, how far we had to come. So, again, I, I'm proud of our team, proud of our leadership. But I'm also um, respectful of, of how good Washington is and uh, how good Cody Zeller is. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the team, a lot of people talked about how we had a seven footer and how our size might might uh, affect how he played. But I thought their size um, had an effect on how we played at times also. Um, whether it was blocking shots, it was definitely changing shots and uh, changing a little bit the way we play. Um, we, we've been a team that has, has been able to get in the paint and attack and uh, score in the paint and get to the free throw line. One of our biggest goals and one of our main goals is to make more free throws than our opponents shoot. And, uh, you know, that, that didn't happen early. I don't think it happened uh, at all tonight. Uh, if I look, yeah, I mean, they shot, they shot 25 free throws, made 15. We, we got there five times. And, um, that's always something we look at right away. So they, they, they did a great job being the aggressive team and being the team that attacked and, and got easy wins. How big was uh, Sher's uh, foul trouble to get into, did you think, uh, him have, having to come out of the game for different times? Well, we, we, we do trust in our bench. Uh, we, we've been in foul trouble before. We've had other guys step up. But uh, when, when, you, uh, when you do get in foul trouble with, with your, you know, your post players, that may have an effect on you to, to play a certain way. Um, I thought we played hard the entire game, no doubt about that. But I, I do think once you start getting in foul trouble and they're and they're attacking, the team fouls add up. So when those team fouls add up, then they get to go to the free throw line earlier and more often. So foul trouble, that's that's you know that that hurts you that way. But I mean, yeah, I mean, he he needs to be on the floor, that's for sure. And uh, when he got in some foul trouble, we had to take him out and. Um, so same thing with Jawan when he got in foul trouble in the first half. Um, other than maybe some of that foul trouble that you guys were in early, what do you think was the biggest uh, maybe change between the, the first and second quarters for you um, offensively for you guys? Like I, said? I would say a combination of our, our shot selection and their defense. Um, we, we talk about getting you know, we were getting good shots, but we, we had better shots. We needed to get better shots. And in that second quarter, we didn't get uh, the best shot possible. Um, we settled for some, for some extended jumpers, and we probably should have uh, kept attacking. And then we got down, and we were, we were trying to play some zone there to, to weather the storm with some foul trouble. Um, so I thought uh, once, we, uh, once we took some, some bad shots, that allowed them to get some easy ones, and they were able to score some easy baskets in that second quarter. How did you guys feel like you did on Zeller? He ended up with five field goals, probably about as low as he's had all year, but uh, he still managed 20 and 18 tonight. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought Cher did a pretty good job on him. We were we were going to pick and choose when we were going to double him, um, but again, 20 points, uh, 18 rebounds. Two assists, two blocks. I mean, um, he he was a big influence on this game, and uh, that's the kind of player he is. Um, he he's able to do so many things. Uh, the, the the things that go unnoticed sometimes is the way he handles the ball, and he can he can extend you out and make you guard him because he's he's a six you know six eleven uh, guy that can put it on the floor and extend the defense. So not if he's shooting it or scoring it, but he can handle it and he can pass it. And uh, it may not be the pass that leads to a basket, but it's the pass that's going to get somebody else open. So he, his basketball IQs, his basketball IQ is very, very high. I mean, obviously, he's played in um, 
you know, what, three out of four state championships, uh, or, or been in, in the state championship. Um, he tied a state record last year for rebounds, I think, 26. Uh, you know, he got a double-double tonight, 20 and 18. I mean, he had a huge impact on this game. Coach, at the beginning, it looked like you were trying to work uh, down low, keeping uh, your tall player out of the way, forcing Zeller to leave the paint, and then trying to work the ball down low with Zeller away from baskets. Is that something that you were looking for early? We, we were trying to spread the floor a little bit, yes, but um, I thought we drifted too much on the perimeter and took some, took some extended jump shots. And Again, that goes back with our shot selection. I thought we, we could have got some better shots at times. Um, but with their size, I mean, not only Zeller, but, um, you know, Pittman, um, he's got some nice size, and I thought um, that caused us to extend more than we wanted to. Um, again, we want to try and attack the paint and be aggressive, and I thought we settled for jump shots too often. Coach, with everything, you know, that you've had to go through the past year, does that make this tournament run? I think sharing it with, with this group of guys makes it that much more special. Um, this is a this is a amazing group of individuals that make up the team. Um, you know, they're uh, great teams have great teammates. Great teams have great teammates, and they're great teammates. They care about each other, and and that show uh, every day in practice, and, and that's what makes it so special. Having a, having a group of guys that believed in teamwork and believed in hard work and again from where we where we started to where we're at now that's that's why I'm so proud so I think it's gratifying to be able to coach a team like that that's most and foremost. Is there uh, anything that either you gentlemen Mr. Myers Mr. Breskinson would like to add to that effect about you know uh, how far you guys have come this season from, from day one until you know competing in the state championship? Um, like I've said multiple times, uh, at the beginning of the year we didn't know what to expect and like Coach said, um, competing for a state title is a major accomplishment for us and you know, at the beginning of the year, just like Coach said, if any, anybody said we would have been here, I wouldn't have believed it either, but um, <clears throat> we, wanted, we wanted this bad just to, just to cap our season off, but you know, we fought. And uh, we stuck together as a team as always, and uh, we, came sh we fell short. But I would never, I would have never done it with a better team and a bunch of guys. And these guys are like my brothers. So. Coach, you Nice to get here. We wish we would have won, we won the game, but we fell short. But um, these great group of guys, it's the best group of guys I've ever been around. Uh, I can't explain how much these guys mean to me, and it's been a wonderful season. Um, being a senior leader for this team was a huge privilege for me. Um, Cher and I, we, uh, we try to lead by example in what we do on the court, but the two guys that you, you don't really see, um, Hung Wu Khan and Peter Bin, um, they don't play, but um, they give us that intensity we need in practice, and they give us those looks. You know, those guys, they do anything just to step on the court. And uh, a lot of our success has come from those guys. Not only the two seniors, but the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors and all the way up. And um, I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to lead because they listen and um, they're, they're just willing to do anything for me. And I did the same for them. <clears throat> 